we finally made it to Marseille, France's second largest city, and apparently, this is France's oldest city, but we only have about seven hours before we have to get back on the boat. So let's see, can we make it to Palace Longchamp, Notre Dame de la Garde, Marseille Cathedral, a museum in Port St. John, and I'm sorry. Okay, how come Europe has some of the most beautiful cities? Like, I think this is the first time I've been in a city in Europe where it really does feel like a maritime city. I guess it's because we're in the Mediterranean Sea, but. Okay, I'm sorry, we gotta get to the, we gotta get to the bakery. We gotta go. No sugar. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Dad, since you used the restroom in there, we gotta take espresso shots. Oh, you don't cheers for espresso shots. Oh, cheers. Oh, I didn't know I did that. I do that. Oh, okay. So my dad had to use the restroom, and I think anytime you go to any business in any country, you buy something from that business if you're going to be using their restroom. So I bought us two espresso shots. How's the espresso, Dad? Well, apparently it's really good. Oh, yeah, that's really good, actually. Oh, man. What do people get here? Uh, it's um, navette traditionnelle. Excuse me. It's not good. Can we have two? Two, two navettes? See, si. yes. To test or? Oh, well, can we taste? Yes. Ah. When you walk into this bakery, you can really smell the aroma. It makes sense since they've been open since 1781. Thank you. It's a biscuit traditionnelle orange flower. Orange flower. What are your thoughts, Dad? Mm. It's good? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's melts in your mouth. It's crunchy, but once it hits your mouth, it's, it's like it'll melt. Okay, let's see. What? I don't think I've ever had anything like this. Me neither. It's definitely different. Hmm. You, you want one? Yeah. Two, three. Bonjour. Uh, oh, those, that's, those are the, the bosses. Family, uh, family, family, uh, family Amber. For 200 years. That's wild. And um, what, was, what was your name? Ikram. Ikram. Ikram? Ikram. Davion. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you for, uh, for uh, giving us the history. And nice to meet you, too. Um, Dallas, Texas. Texas? Yes. Oh, you nice. gotta go someday. Very beautiful. We finally made it to the bakery, the oldest bakery here in Marseille. This bakery has been open since 1781, over 200 years, and it's still a family-owned restaurant, or sorry, family-owned bakery, I believe. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the star of the show. And I'm telling y'all, when I first bit into this in the, in the store, the bakery, I didn't, I didn't get hit with the flavor yet. But then it just hit me and I was like, wow, I've never had anything like this. And apparently this is a safeguarded family recipe. If you're coming to Marseille, stop here at this oldest bakery. And it's in a neighborhood that's a lot quieter. Like, Dad, you gotta, you gotta say, isn't it a quiet neighborhood right now? Yes, it is. Maybe this is because it's winter time here off the Mediterranean Sea, but this might be the best time to come to Marseille, France. Take a cruise on Windstar Cruises and come see France's second largest and oldest city. Lingers. The flavor lingers still in my mouth. I, it's, I, that's the first time I've ever had something taste like that. It's different. That's, that's why that's a family garden recipe. It's quite good. If you're coming up to the, this basilica, just know it's going to be it's going to be one hell of a hike, but the views of the city of Marseille are definitely worth it. Apparently, there is a train that will take you up to the Basilica. At least, that's what I'm guessing. But I'm enjoying this walk. Great exercise for my legs, and it's really good for your lungs and to breathe in that Marseille French air and energy. 
this beautiful basilica behind me is Notre Dame de la Garde. And it translates into Our Lady of the Guard. But locally, this place is known as La Bonne Med, which translates into the French mother. And if you're thinking twice about coming here, you definitely need to come here if you're going to be in Marseille because walking into the basilica, it will take your breath away. You guys know how I love my ceilings and my head was just, my neck was snapped while I was inside of the basilica. And then don't even just stop there. Underneath the basilica is the crypts and, or is the crypt, and I have not seen a crypt like that. Y'all know I have been to a lot of basilicas, cathedrals, and if y'all don't know, I have, but this one is at the top of my list. I would say probably in the top five. Y'all know anytime I'm in a new city, I love to see what their public transportation's like. So we're gonna hit up the Marseille metro system because y'all know I love trains. We're gonna see, what is it like? First impressions of this metro, I love the fact that you can actually use your Visa card to pay for your ticket. That makes transportation so much faster. Okay, I actually really do love the French or the Marseille French metro system. The only thing though, the trains are definitely very bumpy, very bumpy. Right behind me is the Palais Longchamp, and this was built in 1849 to signify bringing clean water to the city of Marseille because people were getting sick back then. This building houses, or this monument slash building houses two museums. Sadly, we're only gonna get to go to one today. And there is also a park in the back. One of the main reasons why I always tell y'all you should look up is because there's always so much art. Hidden art that countries around the world have chose to put on the ceilings. So we made it finally to Palais Lanson and two museums and it's free entrance. And I'm not gonna lie y'all, a lot of times I don't feel like museums are my favorite thing to do in a new city, but the way this museum is set up, it's so different. Like all these different skeletons, the art on the wall. Not, okay, if you're French, you gotta let me know. Was my pronunciation kind of okay? Cause I did ask uh, one of the workers here how to say it. And Palais, Palais Longson. It's better than I probably would have said if I didn't ask her. Since we're short on time, we're gonna try the tram situation out here in Marseille. Tickets were not that bad, 380 for two single rides. And you do have a beautiful view of the Palais Lanson. The tram system? was actually not bad, but still very bumpy, just as bumpy as taking the metro here in Marseille, but very clean. Okay, we finally made it to Marseille's cathedral, and I love the architecture in here. The stones, the color, and it feels so peaceful in here and surreal. What are your thoughts, Dad? Y'all know your boy loves ceilings and they are not disappointing at all. I feel just like there's so much space in this cathedral to just wander and get lost and look at the walls, the artwork on the walls, the sculptures. Marseille, friends, y'all, y'all know what y'all are doing with this cathedral. 
sadly, we didn't get the chance to go to Fort St. John today or the Maritime Museum and some other things here in Marseille because you cannot just see Marseille in one day. And I don't like, you know, going to cities and trying to say this is what the city looks like. But I think that's one of the best things you can do in life when you're traveling is see a few different things. And if you have the opportunity to go back, when you go back, you have other things you can do in that city. It's, it's a reason to come back to Marseille or wherever you are. My name's Davion West. I don't know where I'm headed to next, but I know I want you there with me. Follow me to 196 countries. Thank <laughs> you.